So welcome all. Today we are seeing something about uh, real time transport protocol. So basically we have seen something about the transmission of audio video over the multimedia channels. Uh, we have seen certain ways uh, how the uh, live interactive or uh, other videos are being transmitted, right? Or stored videos, right? Now we are uh, thinking about uh, the RTP, real time transport protocol. So basically, this RTP is a protocol which is designed to handle real time traffic on the internet. So as we have seen earlier, that uh, in UDP does not have that much uh, ways to handle these things. Uh, which for which um, this RTP is uh, required. So RTP stands between UDP and the application program. So the main contribution of RTP are time stamping, sequencing and mixing. These are the facilities which are which were not uh, available with UDP. Right? So <laughs> The thing is, it must be used with uh, uh, UDP. Hmm. So, now let us see something about. Uh, okay, we will see the packet format, we will see uh, the ports. So, here uh, you see uh, this RTP stands in transport layer. For multimedia transmission, it is with UDP in between uh, your application and uh, the other protocol layers. Mm -hmm. Then let me show you uh, the protocol this uh, RTP packet header format. So in this figure you can see the format of this uh, RTP packet header. So it is very simple and uh, general right it uh, covers all real time application so an application that needs uh, more information adds it to the beginning of its payload yeah. that is the thing now <coughs> suppose uh, version you can understand it is uh, here it is 2 bit huh? let me write it is 2 bit p and x are 1 bit each if suppose p is set it indicates the presence of padding uh, it shows presence of padding okay so if there is no padding we will keep it 0 now x if this x is set to 1 it indicates an extra extension header uh, which is between this uh, header and the data so x indicates extra uh, i should say extension header You understand, uh, okay, counter count means, uh, sorry, counter means uh, contributor. Uh, here actually, uh, you see this is 4 bit. Uh, this indicates the number of contributors. Mm. Maximum we can have uh, 15 contributors with uh, 4 bit, right? Okay, now this is uh, m bit. This uh, one bit actually is a marker, uh, which is used by application to indicate, uh, for example, the end of its data. Okay. Payload type. It is another seven bit. Now this indicates the type of uh, the payload. Huh? Uh, in the next slide actually we have uh, different 
types of these payloads which have been defined uh, till now. Let me see. Okay, let it be. It is uh, dependent on the application. Like uh, this application, some type number. Suppose it is uh, uh, different kind of audios are there, different kind of videos are there. For MPEG 1, another maybe it is 32, MPEG 2, it is 33. Some other kind of uh, audios are there. So for them, all different numbers are there which can be assigned with the 7 bits. Now it is the sequence number. So another 16 bit. So what is happening with uh, uh, the sequence number? Actually it is used to number the RTP packets. Uh, so the sequence number of the first packet is chosen anything uh, randomly. Now after that it is uh, incremented uh, by one. Time stamp another uh, 32 bit field that indicates uh, the time relationship between the packets. So uh, suppose the uh, time stamp of the first packet will be chosen something some random number and after that it will be incremented every time right depending on the time. Synchronization uh, uh, source identifier. Suppose uh, if you have just one source in that case, this 32 bit will, um, will store the address of that uh, source. Now, <coughs> if there are uh, multiple source, uh, several source are there, in that case, Uh, the mixer, uh, the mixer is the synchronization source and uh, the other sources are actually um, contributors. Okay, So if there is single source then it is okay, if at all there are multiple source in that case the mixer will be identified as synchronization source and other sources will remain contributor. Contributor identifier you can understand 32 bit identifier which defines the uh, any source right. Then uh, this is the payload type you can see different types of audios are there PC, M micro, uh, 1016, G7 something, LPC, PCMA, MPEG audio, MPEG video, MPEG 2 video, several of these uh, all the things, types of uh, applications according, accordingly they have numbers. Okay. Now <coughs> RTP uses a temporary uh, even numbered UDP port. Yeah, although RTP is itself a transport layer protocol, the RTP packet is not encapsulated directly in a IP datagram. Instead, RTP is treated like an application program and is encapsulated in a uh, UDP user datagram. Okay? So, for RTP, we don't have any uh, well known port kind of thing. So, here we use temporary even numbered UDP protocol. So this was something about uh, RTP. Now uh, if we think about RTCP, uh, it is uh, real time transport control protocol. So you can see RTP allows only one type of uh, message one that carries data from the source to the destination. In many cases we need uh, other messages uh, in a session. So these messages control uh, the flow and quality of data and allow the recipients to send feedback to the source of the sources. 
So this RTCP is a protocol uh, which will help us in this uh, in doing these things. Okay. So we are going to see the sender report, receiver report, uh, and the source description message, some other type of message, and UDP port. Okay. So let us see this uh, sender report. So the sender report is actually sent uh, periodically by the active senders. Suppose in a conference there are several senders, so um, active senders will uh, always periodically send some uh, sender report to report their transmission and uh, reception statistics uh, for the all the RTB packets sent during the interval. This is a sender report and uh, then there is a receiver report 201. So, the receiver report is for uh, suppose uh, passive participation, those that do not uh, send RTP packets. Uh, the report informs the sender that uh, other receivers uh, about the quality of service. Mm. So, for that purpose, receiver report is used. Source description message. And this is actually uh, what happens the source periodically sends um, uh, this message, source description message. Uh, it gives, uh, suppose, uh, additional information. Uh, and this information can be suppose name, email address, telephone number, uh, address of the maybe controller, owner and source whatever. Hello? So this is uh, other information related to source. There is a buy message. What happens? A source sends a buy message to shut down a stream. Right? So, it allows the source to announce that it is leaving the conference. Although other sources can uh, detect the absence of a source, this message is a <coughs> direct announcement. So if we are using a mixer, so it is very helpful uh, in that. Mixer can uh, understand that the one contributor is not anymore. Okay, sorry. So now we are going towards uh, um, UDP port that RTPC used an uh, odd numbered UDP port. Okay. So uh, this RTPC RTCP also doesn't have any well known. Uh, UDP port, right? So it uses uh, any temporary port. It is odd numbered, in fact. Okay, so with this, uh, we will uh, assume that okay, we have seen something about um, RTP and RTCP. And then uh, in next video, we will try to see something about voice over IP. You know? Okay, thank you.